The year is 1537, and the tattered remains of a Spanish army slogs through one of the harshest environments on Earth, the Colombian jungle. The expedition had departed from the coastal city of Santa Marta with 900 men, but by this point, only 179 were left. The leader of this expedition, Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada, had went into the jungle searching for the legendary El Dorado, but so far, his men have only faced starvation, disease, and the harsh denizens of the Colombian jungle. However, in March of 1537, the Spanish party would find what they were looking for. The Muisca have inhabited the Altiplano region of Colombia since as far back as prehistory, but the Muisca Confederation, a loose political association of leaders among the Muisca, formed some time before the arrival of the Spanish, but exact dates are not known. Each state retained sovereignty, but the Muisca were extremely well organized. Most of the political members of the organization were members of the Muisca ethnicity and shared cultural ties. Despite the non-rigid political structure, there were three figures that could be considered quote-unquote leaders of the Muisca. The Zipa, or Sihipqua, ruled the southern regions and was based in Muiqueta, today Funza. And the Hoa, or Zaque, was the leader of the northern regions and was based in Hunza, today Tunja. The Sihipqua was likely one of the most important figures in Muisca society. The Sihipqua was so honored that the nobility didn't even dare to look in his face, and it was considered sacrilegious for even his spit to touch the ground, so attendants disposed of his spit on cloths. The reason for this reverence was the Sahipqua's role, which was to offer gold to the gods. The Sahipqua would cover himself with gold, then float out on a ceremonial barge to the center of Lake Guatavita, where he would offer the gold in religious ceremony. It is believed this is how the legend of El Dorado started. The Zipa was considered to be descended from the moon goddess Chaya, while the Hoa was descended from Su, the sun god. Although gold deposits were not common in the Altiplano, the Muisca obtained large amounts of gold through trade and were famous for their gold work. To the Muisca, gold did not have as much monetary value as it had spiritual value. Gold is directly connected to the Muisca deities, and specifically the chief deity and sun god, Su. Su was worshipped in the Temple of the Sun in Suomox, today Sugamoso. And on the summer solstice, the Muisca held grand festivities with sacrifices and body painting and everyone getting drunk on chicha, a beer-like beverage made from corn. Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada was a Spanish lawyer born in 1496. After losing an important court case that ruined his reputation in 1535, de Quesada was appointed chief magistrate and second in command of an expedition to present-day Colombia. Under the command of Pedro Fernandez de Lugo, governor of the Canary Islands and theoretically Colombia, de Quesada and a crew of over 1,000 set sail for South America. The force made it to the small coastal settlement of Santa Marta after two months at sea to find a collection of shanties and disease-ridden colonists dressed in roughly woven skins, rags, and cloth. Food was scarce, and tropical disease could turn even the strongest of men into withered husk. In 1536, De Lugo sent de Quesada and about 900 men into the dense and foreboding jungles to find the fabled El Dorado which they had heard about from the colonists and natives. In March of 1537, only 179 of the original 900 arrived in Muisca territory, taking the salt mines at Nimocon and the trading center of Zapaquiera. From there, the party marched into the largest and most important of the Muisca settlements, Bacata. In Bacata, de Casada resigned and called for an election. He was elected captain general. The Sahipqua was named Tisquesusa, but referred to by the Spanish as Bogota, while the Hoa was named Chetocha, but referred to by the Spanish as Yucaneme. In April 1537, the Spanish arrived in Funza and defeated Tisquesusa in a pitched battle. The Spanish then mounted an expedition north, and on August 20th, 
Kemuen Chetocha submitted the Spanish rule in Hunza. The high priest, or Iraka, Sugamuxi, attempted to stop the Spanish advance, but he too was defeated with Suamuk's City of the Sun falling to the Spanish. The Sun Temple was burned down by two of de Quesada's men. By early August of 1538, Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada decided to establish a settlement to defend his newly conquered territory. He chose a spot next to eastern mountains where the rain would run off and the mountains would protect them from attackers and the perils of the jungle. Quesada placed his right foot in the ground on August 6th and proclaimed, I take possession of this land in the name of the most sovereign emperor, Charles V. The settlement was initially called La Nueva Ciudad de Granada, or New City of Granada, but it later became known as Santa Fe de Bogota, and now is simply Bogota.